Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about sustainable strategies in architecture and more specifically about louvers and sun shading. So as architects we have a certain responsibility about environmental awareness and we should be conscious about our decisions that we make when designing our buildings in terms of sustainability factors. And lots of architects and manufacturers try to sell you on these ideas that you need these high-tech complicated mechanics to make your buildings green and sustainable, but that's not true. I strongly believe that we should look back to vernacular architecture of traditional architectures from various cultures to see how they use low-tech methods of dealing with different environmental conditions. So this could mean things in terms of natural ventilation, dealing with wind, dealing with sun and shading. Sometimes you want the sun inside the building and other times you want the sun nowhere near your building. So being aware of these factors helps you make decisions in your designs that can accommodate for these various conditions. If you watched my recommended books video on a device that allows you to see my annotations, you may have seen one of the parts where that harsh daylighting was coming through the window and you couldn't even really see my face. I asked you what direction you thought that the sun was coming from and it's actually coming from west-southwest. And so I'm sitting in the same place that I was in that video. You can see that the lighting right now is indirect and distributed and that is because it's a cloudy day right now. During my recommended books video, it was very sunny out and it was late in the afternoon. So when you're designing your building, you have to consider all of these different conditions, whether it's cloudy, if it's really sunny, if it's partly cloudy, where the sun's coming from, what angle it's at. So these are all things that you need to consider. So let's draw some diagrams so that we know exactly what I'm talking about and not just speaking nonsense over here. So when you're thinking about the sun, the things to consider are the azimuth and the altitude. The azimuth being the horizontal angle in the sky versus the altitude, which is the vertical angle in the sky. So here we have drawn a small house in the optimal orientation. The longer facade facing north-south and the shorter facades facing east and west. So this is the optimal positioning both because of maximum sunlight gain as well as quite possibly for wind conditions, which we will talk about in another video. So here we have drawn the summer sun path as well as the winter sun path. So you can see here that the summer sun is much higher in the sky, whereas the winter sun is much lower. So here I'm just talking about the altitude of the sun. On the south facade, the thing that you want to consider is the altitude of the sun, which is the vertical angle of the sun. So in the winter, because it's cold, you want the warmth of the sunlight to warm the spaces so that you don't have to rely on mechanical heating you want to have your windows on the south facade so that that sun can penetrate through the building. On the north facade, the north facade only gets that indirect distributed light. So because of the angle of the sun, the north facade is generally in shading for the majority of the day. So it's really the east, south, and west facades that you would consider using shading devices and louvers for. And this applies to the Northern Hemisphere. If you were in the Southern Hemisphere, this would all be the opposite, where in the Southern Hemisphere, the North Facade would act as a South Facade, where it would get all of that sunlight, and then the South Facade would be the one that's in shading. So I'm going to just talk about the Northern Hemisphere, where the South Facade has all of that daylighting, and so if you are in the southern hemisphere, you just kind of have to flip that around and do the opposite. 